Hey guys, it finally happened. We finally have a release date and a trailer for Power of the Doctor, Jodie Whittaker's final story as the 13th Doctor. And it will uh, come out on October 23rd of 2022, which is a Sunday uh, and is a month before Doctor Who's 59th birthday. <clears throat> So that's interesting. Uh, a lot of people had figured it was going to be October 23rd. It's nice to have that confirmed, especially since that's not far away. I think today's like the 7th or the 8th. That's right around the corner. Uh, the trailer? I like the trailer because it does exactly what a trailer should. It gives little hints without giving anything away. Like I watched that trailer and part of me is like, I have no idea what's going on. And then part of me is like, that's good. Yes. Like, I never liked the Moffat era trailers where they had spoilers. Or even see some of the Russell T. Davis eras. Trailers that had spoilers over here in the U.S. Because we got them months later back then. Uh, but, you know, like, for instance, the, uh, the Series 10 leak at the end with John Sims always frustrated me. It, it took away from that moment seeing that in the trailer. So I like this trailer. It doesn't really spoil anything because there's nothing really in there we didn't already know it really is just a jumble of you know shots running together which i like it gives you a little taste of what's coming without really giving anything away and i think that's a really good job of a trailer like this just enough to build some hype to get some attention to it to market it a little bit which power of the doctor needs a lot of marketing it has not been marketed well in my opinion especially with it right upon us with the release right upon us so it's nice to see it getting some marketing I, I enjoy it the whole train thing has me really caught up i don't know if that's the time vortex or what it is it's in it looks very colorful you know like very colin baker intro colorful uh where it's going through space i like her little line about 9.5 landing that's kind of fun <coughs> i'm curious to learn more about the train obviously something is attacking the earth it looks like another planet that's glowing red. It looks like the Genesis planet when it's dying. Firing on the Earth. Pretty neat. We see, we find out a little bit about how, you know, there's geological volcanoes erupting. Paintings are going missing. That's interesting because that could tie back in with the 50th anniversary with things living in the paintings. You know, we see Ace there with a painting that's missing. That's interesting. See, that's enough to kind of get you curious about it without ruining anything or giving anything away which I like just enough to build the curiosity to be like ooh I want to know what's going on there like I said we get a little bit of shots of Ace and T and we see Ace parachuting down wearing her old school jacket looks like she's got the bat back here which I like uh, I love Ace with her bat so it's nice to see her in her old school Ace outfit with bat um, it looks like there's going to be some more heart to heart stuff with Yaz did you not suspect it was a trap that's interesting the ha 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 written on the TARDIS, what could cause that? Like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What could cause the TARDIS to do that? Obviously, you know, Yaz is like, did you not suspect it might be a trap? Interesting. Looks like the Master might actually be Rasputin. Like, the Master was Rasputin. That's interesting. I'm not really familiar with Rasputin. More, I really just know the name. I'm not really familiar with who he was. But that's interesting to, uh, to see them tying the Master to... A historical figure like that interesting uh it's enough to where like i said um i think the trailer does its job and you know it gives you little snippets of what's going on without ruining anything without spoiling anything uh so i'm curious to see where it goes from here uh i'm a little more hyped about it than i was so i guess the trailer did its job i'm not super hyped i mean i'm far more excited about the uh, collection box set, the Series 2 collection box set that's coming out myself and, you know, being able to see Hartnell in HD and add it over here on the shelf. That's that's what I'm more fired up about. Speaking of which, we have not gotten an official confirmed date on the Collection 2 box set, but I did see where, I think it's like a website over in Denmark or somewhere. You know, some of those websites over there tend to leak it before we officially get it, like that Swiss website that was right about two or three of them. The Denmark website has a release date of November 14th for the season two, or the, yeah, the season two box set. Which makes sense to me. That means we would have uh, Power of the Doctor on the 23rd, 
and it would have a little time to be in everybody's public conscious. And then on November the 14th, we would get the season two box set. And then I figure on November 23rd is when we'll, they'll, they'll do the announcement for the next box set, the one that's after season two. Um, <clears throat> because they tend to like doing announcements on Doctor Who's birthday, the 23rd of November will be Doctor Who's 59th birthday. And since there's no new animations coming to announce, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any new still books to announce. I figure they'll announce the next box set. That seems the logical thing. And that gives season two about a nine day window to really shine, to sell, to get attention, to get that, you know, that first week uh, on the sales charts where I'm sure it will do very well. These sets do, especially that first week, they do really well on the charts. So that gives it its little uh, moment of glory. And then, you know, nine days after that, we get the announcement for the next set, which I fully expect to be a John Pertwee set. Uh, probably either season 9 or season 11. I think the, the bets are on season 9, but I think there's an outside chance it might be 11. So 9 or 11. That's what I'm expecting. Uh, we'll see. So, Power of the Doctor. What did you think of the trailer? Are you excited about October 23rd? The season 2 box set quite possibly coming out November 14th. What do you think of that? And the possible reveal of the next collection box set on the 23rd of November. The next month and a half are going to be exciting for Doctor Who fans. I want to know what you think, so comment down below and let me know. Plus all the other fun stuff while you're at it, clicking that subscribe button and like button, checking out the description of the video with the links to the Patreon, the links to the Amazon wish list, and the P.O. Box if there's anything you'd like to send me to look at. I want to give a shout out to Stephen Crane, a top tier patron. I appreciate his continued support as I do the support of all of my patrons. And most importantly, thank you for watching.